to The Bachelorette after the final rose. I'm Chris Harrison. Earlier this year, millions of viewers watched as British bachelor Matt Grant asked Shane Lamas for her hand in marriage. And she said yes. Tonight, we'll catch up with a couple for the first time since that magical day. Matt and Shane, everybody. <laughs> pretty intense, wasn't it? That was very intense. I'm bringing you guys out to lighten the load a little bit. It's good to see you again. Matt, obviously you flew halfway around the world to find your soulmate here, and uh, I know you were taken by this woman the first second she stepped out of the limo. Before we talk about it, let's take a look. The minute I first set my eyes on Shane, there was an instant kind of attraction from my side. Her hair was blowing in the wind. This was a movie star coming towards me. Why are you? I'm going on a one-on-one! -on -one. Yeah! I feel very comfortable with Shane. See ya. This girl makes me laugh. <laughs> she makes me feel like a 16-year-old boy. I feel very at ease, very relaxed. I'm really falling big time for Shane. I want to be with him for the rest of my life. Every time I see that man, I fall more in love with him. Every minute we're together, you know, I want more. And that's what, you know, lets me know that I'm in love with him. Because I want more. Every day it grows stronger and stronger. Oh, Matt. You had me on hello. <laughs> Shane's little monkey, when she cuddles me, is like a monkey holding on. I have a present for you. Really? Yeah! There was a photo with Shane on the beach and she'd written, I love you, in the sand. My heart melted at that point. Shane Dalamas. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Monkey. Will you marry me? Oh my god! Yes, I will marry you. Are you kidding me? Oh my I love that watching your proposal again brings tears to your I eyes. Know. That was the first time I've watched it since the finale. Yeah. We should watch it like every week. We really. should. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what goes through your mind when you watch that again? Just what an amazing moment it really was. Yeah. Um, to finish on such a beautiful note was just a magnificent occasion and a moment in my life. When did you know it was Shane? You know, we saw that clip of her when she, um, she came out the limo. Yeah. And her hair, it was almost like, you know, the wind was just at that perfect tempo. It just worked. She did a little thing with her shoulders as well. She was like, mm. uh, <laughs> When I get nervous, I just... Whatever. She got me, she got when me. When I get nervous, I do this little shimmy thingy. Which I'm <laughs> constantly taking the mick out of her for. And you, you can kind of uh, empathize with Diana as to falling in love with maybe a different type of woman than you ever would have thought coming into this. Yeah, no, completely. <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, you know, it was, it was funny. You know, with Shane and I, there was just a bond that didn't exist with anyone else on the show. And it was always just such a pleasure to be around Shane. I was always just excited when it came to that, spending time with her. So since the show has ended, how are you guys doing? What's going on right now? Engaged you know, and happy. You got the ring. <laughs> Obviously, you made the decision to stay, right. Matt, so you could be near Shane. You know, I've come from, from London, you know. Uh -huh. I'm a London boy. Coming to terms with living in a new city, you uh -huh. know. I actually turned out of uh, Shane's road and drove straight down the, the, the road the wrong way. He's actually almost killed me five times. Yeah. He's wrong a horrible the driver. There was three lanes of traffic just going, Who, what are you doing, dude? And I was like, oh. I'm English. It was horrible. So, Anyways. beyond your horrible driving abilities here in the States, we hear a lot of junk. Really? Uh, yeah. There's rumors? I didn't know there was rumors. Obviously, you know okay, rumors? then let's, let's dispel these or affirm them. The rumors are 
everything from you guys have broken up, you're seeing somebody else. That's completely not true. We have, you know, I have friends. I grew up in this town. So mm -hmm. I go out with my friends. And Matt is such a wonderful man that he allows me to have my freedom and to, to keep my friends that I already have. So if I'm out with my group of friends, of course they're going to be like, oh, Shane Lamas is now dating, blah, blah, blah. You, you can't believe everything that you read, and I'm sure people know that. My favorite rumor... <laughs> And I'd love to deal with this. Oh, is, I've got four heads or something. No, it's not that flattering. It, uh, <laughs> the rumor that you did this whole thing were using Shane to get your green card. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's my favorite, because, of course, that's the easiest way to get a well, green card. Well, it yeah. is. He, he admitted to me. It's like I'm from Yeah, you know. England is so bloody me. awful. Please accept me. <laughs> Take me. It's like I'm from the United Kingdom, and I'm sure everyone agrees it is an amazing country. You know, the U.S. is great as well, but, I mean, I didn't do it for a green card, seriously. But it seems like the point is you guys are in love, still engaged. Yeah. Okay, and where do we go from here? Well, I think we're going to do some traveling, and, are um... We? Yeah, we are. Well, whereabouts? <laughs> Mrs. World Traveler, where, where are we off to? Are you guys going uh, back home? You are in so much trouble. Um. <laughs> You guys are already like an old married couple. <laughs> is there a doghouse big enough for you? Um, there is a doghouse big enough for me. It cost me a lot of money. Yeah, and he doesn't fit in my bed either. Boy, your parents just love bed. that comment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> smooth. Uh, but you guys are going to go back to England. Have you taken her home yet? Yeah, it's my birthday on the 17th of July. Um, Tea and crumpets for everybody. Tea and crumpets for everyone, yeah. We're planning to head back to the UK for that. So um, that'll be nice to be with my family and friends back home. Well, guys, it's good to see you again. I'm glad all is well, and I'm glad we put all the, uh, the rumors to rest. So uh, we wish you the best. Thank, Thank you very much. Forward to the future. When we come back, it's Deanna and Jesse finally together in public for the first time with a surprise announcement. Stay tuned for more of The Bachelorette after the final rose.